Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nazus Kandegar and today we're taking a look at the Windows 10 build 14931. Uh, There's a new build that came out last week and I did an update video on it. Um, it's good. Uh, sorry for being a couple days late, but I uh, much late, better late than never, right? Right. So uh, we're now uh, there is a web blog post that Microsoft wrote announcing Windows 10 preview build 14931 for PCs. Now he, this is important. Uh, there's no new features in this build, but there are some things I want to show you. Uh, one of them that I forgot to mention in the last build, and that is when you click on the Microsoft Edge. Uh, let me zoom in here, guys. Uh, so if you, when you click go to Microsoft Edge, and let me close the magnifier when you go to Microsoft Edge and you could go to settings and um, and there's some new f new features here so let me zoom in more so let's go down a bit and then we should go to your favorite section so let's see uh, favorites view favorite settings now here's what's new you can now import and, or and export the f your favorites as an HTML fi file so let me export my favorites here exporting and now we could see a uh, save as dialog box that appears. I'm going to save it. Let's save it to the desktop. And then you could import the file. And you could see my file over there. So here's the file that I saved on the desktop. I want to open with Edge. And you could see my uh, the favorite file that's uh, in plain HTML5. So there you go. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the new favorites uh, importer. Um, so there were some extensions. Let me zoom in here. Oh, wrong wrong option. Let me zoom in with like this. New extensions from Microsoft Edge. So they have now Tamper Monkey, a popular uh, as a Tamper Monkey is uh, they called it um, user script manager. So if you like scripting on the web. Um, I believe this might be a way to script an existing set. I may I never heard of this thing. So uh, manage and edit all your user scripts, enable and disable user scripts with two clicks. Yeah, I'm g assuming this is um, scripts for website, you could, custom scripts for individual website you could write uh, locally. If I, I've never used this site. I don't know where it is, but I'm assuming that's where it is. Um, but yeah, so there's some screenshots of it, and there's some the a uh, code editor that's part of the extension, and some there's some screenshots if you want to take a look. If you know where it is, definitely check check that out. Um, there's get option. Um, there's also uh, Microsoft Personal Shopping Assistant. Now this is a Microsoft Garage project, so it's not a official official Microsoft app in that it's not a product by Microsoft Corporation. It's a more more of an employee project. Uh, released through Microsoft Garage. This is basically an application that's similar to Cortana deals. On the screenshot here, you could see uh, the Cortana says, can I get some coupon for you? But this is, but we're using, they're using the uh, shopping, Microsoft shopping extension. And there's some deals and you could set items as your wish list, I assume. I mean, by f they call it favorites here. So I guess you could put items in your favorites. So I'm assuming that even in other websites, you could actually get back to your Shopping cart. It's interesting. It's like having a universal shopping cart, right? So it's very cool. So let's close that. We also have. Uh, that's it. So let's see. Let me, I hope. Let me. I thought there were some more. Uh, we were working with partners on uh, having extensions uh, out and having the installer try try them out before it's released to public. Uh, uh, th they talk about temper taper mon temper monkey, and we have personal shopping assistant and what else do you have um, yeah there's no other option here yeah we talked about the export thing so yeah that's uh, that was uh, that was in the last build we talked about but uh, since I for that was all in the last build build 14926 but since I didn't talk about it in my previous video I decided to give this a mention now this video on the other hand I want this this is a change windows dot wrong if you want to look a good if you want a good website to see track changes from build to build go to change windows dot org um, <laughs> I love this website, so it's really good. So, um, uh, important, yeah. So, another thing Microsoft lets you know is that builds previous older than fourteen nine two six and newer than fourteen nine uh, fourteen three nine three. That means any RS two build older than fourteen nine two six is going to be expiring. Um, uh, and uh, and uh, this is the newer build. It will expire, I believe, on the first of October of twenty. 
No, actually, it starts. Exp uh, yeah, I think it expires first of October of 2016. But I think it does a warning notification starting the September 15th. So you're getting a warning notification since September 15th. I think in October, starting October 1st, your PC will restart uh, several times. I think uh, three times, uh, once every three hours. I think after that, I think you will have a PC that fails to boot, and you don't want to get to that part because then then it's going to be extremely difficult to upgrade to your build. So do that if you haven't done that already. All right, guys, uh, this is the sad part, unfortunately. Um, there's some app updates, and I wanted to show you guys that, but I can't because every time I try to update an app, it says this. Oh, it's actually started working now. <laughs> For a long time, I was seeing error, see details. Uh, let me try this. I mean, let me try. Oh, it still won't work. So, so for some reason, certain most apps are not updating, but some are. See error, see de details. So, I don't think this is working properly either. So, I wish I could show you the apps, but I can't. Let me go to Windows Feedback. Feedback Hub. Uh, the new feature is a dark theme. I wish I could show you that, but again, there's a setting option, a dark theme. You could add the I, I have it on my phone, so I'll show you in the next build when I talk about the Windows Phone, Windows Mobile. But uh, basically, the setting says uh, use accent color uh, of your system. That means if your system is set to dark mode, the app will be dark, if, or you, you could manually select a light or dark mode. And there's a uh, update to the Maps app, and again, dark mode for the app. I think this app update was. Er, introduced earlier on um, there's no real-time traffic I believe um, according to tra there's a traffic icon in the app bar um, traffic icon somewhere in the app bar I don't know <laughs> but yeah um, info yeah there's cards and info cards actually the map enough follows your system setting theme. oh yeah so I this is new to this um, this uh, update it's now has a dark theme now it's uh, if your system is dark theme I thought this was new when I open my open open the app maps app on my Windows phone I noticed that yeah it's now dark so it's it's follows the system settings so that's good to so or and you could choose uh, to change the color theme of the map too yeah I like uh, some some of the new apps in Windows 10 are doing this like Groove Music uh, movies and TVs uh, maps now and the feedback hub they let you. They either let you ch also mail in Canada. They let you choose to stay with the system theme or also pick a custom color. So that's good. So, by guys, this is it. This is all that's new in Windows 10 build 49.31. Uh, if you find anything else, let me know. I'll be happy to talk about them in the next video. So, guys, have a good one. This is Nasmus Kanaker, and make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. <laughs> it really helps me out a lot. Anyway, thank you, guys.